Hey guys, so I'm here with the most demanding video you've been asking for, how to root Redmi phone. So in this video, I'll show you step by step how to unlock the bootloader and root any Xiaomi, Redmi or Poco phone. No matter if you're a beginner, I'll make sure the steps are simple and clear. Just a quick reminder, unlocking the bootloader will wipe all your data and might void the warranty. So be sure to back up your files first and let's get started. Alright, for this video, I'm using the POCO F4 running HyperOS 1.0 with Android 14. But don't worry, this method also works on HyperOS 2.0 or higher. It will also work with Android 15 and even Android 16. The very first step to routing any Redmi or POCO phone is unlocking the bootloader. To do this, first enable developer options by tapping on the HyperOS version 7 times. You'll see a message that says, you are now a developer. Alright, once that's done, head back to settings, open additional settings and there you'll see developer options. Inside developer options, first enable the toggle for OEM unlocking, then tap on my unlock status. At this point, you need to link your MI account. Make sure the account you're using is at least 30 days old. Sometimes when you try to add the account, you may see an error saying, couldn't add me account, please go to MI community to apply. If that happens, download the MI community app from the link in the description and open it. Here you'll see the option to unlock the bootloader. Your MI account needs to be at least 30 days old to continue. If that's all good, just tap on apply for unlocking. Now you may get another error saying application quota limit reached. Many people suggest trying again at exactly 12 a.m. Chinese time, but I tried that myself and it didn't work either. So I found another solution. To use this method, connect your phone to the PC and let's move over to the computer screen. On your PC, go ahead and download all three files from the description link. Once you've got everything ready, double click on hyperexploit.exe to start. It will automatically detect your device. For me, the device code name is Munch. Just press enter to continue. Next, it will ask if you're using a China phone. If yes, type Y. If not, type N. Now look at your phone, it should automatically open the MI Unlock status page. Here, add your My Account. Hyperexploit will then detect and automatically bind your My Account to this device for unlocking the bootloader. And once it's done, you should get a confirmation in the terminal saying your phone is successfully bound to the Xiaomi account. Once that's done, it's time to unlock bootloader using MI Unlock tool. So move the MI Unlock tool to local disk C. This step is important. So make sure the tool is placed in the C drive before running it. Once that's done, run the ME Unlock tool.exe. Here, log in with the same MI account that is already signed in on your phone. Make sure it's the same account, otherwise unlocking will fail. Let me quickly log in. After logging in, click on the Agree button. Now it's time to boot the phone into fast boot mode. First, power off your device completely and keep it connected to the PC. Once it's fully off, press and hold the volume down button and the power button together until you see the fast boot logo on the screen. Now on the Me Unlock tool, you'll see the Unlock button. Simply click it to unlock the bootloader of your Xiaomi, Redmi or Poco phone. In my case, the bootloader is already unlocked, so I couldn't record the full process. But if your Mi account was successfully bound, you'll see a message saying unlocked successful. Your phone will then reboot automatically, erase all the data and ask you to set up the device again. Once the device has booted, enable developer options again and check the MI unlock status. And yes, as you can see, the bootloader is already unlocked. And that's how you unlock the bootloader of any Xiaomi, Redmi or Poco phone. Now before we continue, make sure USB debugging is turned on. 
All right, move into step two, getting the boot image for your device. For this, we need to download the firmware for our device and then extract the boot image from it. To do this, go to Google and search for your device name along with the exact Hyper OS version. From the results, open the official MIUI ROM website. In my case, I'm using the Indian variant of the POCO F4, so I'll select that. Now download the firmware that matches your HyperOS version. Make sure to download the fastboot version of the firmware, not the recovery version. Once the download is done, let's go ahead and extract the firmware package. Alright, the firmware is now extracted. Open the folder and inside you'll see another folder called images. Let's open that. Here you'll find a file called boot.img or init underscore boot.img. If you see init boot.img, copy that one. In my case, I only have boot.img, so I'll copy it. Once that's done, connect your POCO or REDMI phone to the PC and transfer this file to your phone's internal storage or SD card. Next, download and install the Magisk app from the description link and open it up. As you can see, Magisk isn't installed yet. So let's create the patched file. Just tap on install, then select and patch a file. Now we need to choose the boot image. For me, that's boot.img, nice and simple. Once selected, tap on let's go. Magisk will patch the file for us. Give it a few seconds to complete the patching process. And that's it, the patching is done. The patched file is now saved in your download folder. Let's quickly confirm it's there. So let me open the file manager. And yes, the patched file is right here. Now let's move it over to the PC so we can flash it. All right, once the patched file is moved back to the PC, it's time for step three, flash in the matches patched file. First, open the platform tools folder, which you downloaded from description link. Now. Click on the address bar at the top, type CMD and press enter. This will open the command prompt right inside the platform tools folder. Next, in the command prompt, type ADB devices. When you hit enter, your phone will show a pop-up asking for USB debugging permission. Just tap on allow. Next, type a DB Reboot Bootloader. This will restart your phone into fast boot mode. Just wait for your device to boot up. Once your phone is in bootloader mode, type fast boot devices. This checks if your PC can see your phone in fast boot. If you see your device's serial number here, you're good to go. Now it's time to flash the patched boot image. If you have the patched boot.img, then run this command. Fastboot flash boot and path of matches patched file. Just drag and drop the patched file to the terminal. But if you only have the patched init boot.img, then run this instead. Fastboot flash init underscore boot and path to matches patched file. All right, once you run it, you should see OK appear on the screen. That means the file flashed successfully. Now it's time to reboot your phone. Now just type fastboot reboot and hit enter. Your phone will restart and the first boot might take a little longer than usual. So be patient and just let the phone do its thing. All right, the device has now booted up. Let's open the Magisk app and check if everything worked. And yes, as you can see, it says installed, which means our POCO device is successfully rooted. Let's quickly double check using the root checker app. I'll go ahead and open it now. And there we go. Root access is now properly installed on your POCO phone. So by this way, you can unlock the bootloader and root your Xiaomi, Redmi or POCO phone using Magisk. If this guide helped you, don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps a lot. Also, I've added all the download links and commands in the description, so check them out if you need them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.